the way of the cross. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Pope Francis has declared this year as the year of Saint Joseph. Beginning from the Feast of the Immaculate Conception on the 8th of December 2020 till the 8th of December 2021. He calls us to pay special attention to the ordinary yet extraordinary side of Saint Joseph. He was an ordinary man with an extraordinary conviction in God. And this is the reason why Pope Francis invites us to pray for workers, immigrants, and for happy deaths. As we participate in this way of the cross, let us journey with Saint Joseph and look through his eyes and hear him as he takes us through this passion of his Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. First station. Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Bring him here. What has he done? This man, Jesus, calls him the King of Jews. Crucify, Crucify him. him! Crucify him! I don't want this person's blood on my hands. Do whatever you want to do with him. Take him away. As Jesus' father, I have seen him discussing the law and love of the Almighty with the elders. He was a curious little boy, wanting to let everyone around him know about the father's will. I never thought this would become a reason for judgment and ridicule. He never called himself God, but they have accused him falsely. He only wanted us to become close to the Heavenly Father. Will they understand him? St. Joseph, as Jesus stood silent before Pilate and the crowd, you too might have had numerous situations when people mocked you for being the father of Jesus. You stood silent since you knew your identity in Christ. Help us to remain strong in our faith during challenging times. Pray for us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Second Station 
Jesus carries the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. King, you call yourself King, King of Jews. <laughs> Bring the crown! King! Bring the cross! Start walking! While working at the workshop, I have handed him the tools we used while making tables and beams, stools and so much more. He would grab the tools with gladness. He was so excited each time I began teaching him something new. Today, he is handed over with a cross, a symbol of shame. This skilled carpenter son of mine is made a criminal by them. Jesus, you received just the opposite of what you deserved. You accepted the cross willingly because you knew that your suffering will bring us joy. We too are disappointed by what we receive sometimes. Help us to be rooted in the Holy Spirit, who will help us remember where we belong, to you. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Third station. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. King! Get up! Start moving! When Jesus was just a child, he has fallen multiple times like every other child. Then Mary and I used to pick him up. He would cry aloud. We would offer him buns and he would smile. Today, he is falling again, but in punishment like none other. Today, Mary is watching him fall and craving to hold him firm. I'm not even around him. 
Oh, my son falls for your sins. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit in me. This is my prayer today, Jesus, that I may be able to rise at each fall. Let my sins not hide my identity in you. Help me to be true to myself and to the Father Almighty. Saint Joseph, help me to be a person of integrity as you are. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus! Ah! 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 <laughs> When Jesus was to be born, we had to flee to save him from Herod. I remember that cold night. The savior of humankind was born in an ordinary manger around flies and mosquitoes. Yet we were the happiest. Mary held him close and cuddled him. Today, she is holding her son who is walking to his death. On the day of his birth, he escaped death. Will he today? We pray, Jesus, for the less fortunate mothers who have been forsaken by their families. We pray for the sisters who have been ripped off their dignity and are going through ill activities like trafficking, dowry demands, pressures and bias of all kinds that, like Mary who rushed to your dying body, we too may take heed to this decaying society. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Fifth Station Simon helps Jesus to carry the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. You, come here. Bring that man. Yes, you. Help him. Help your king. (laughs) 
Walk fast now. I remember a young Jesus learning carpentry with me. He used to help me with lifting up tables and beams, pillars and chairs, etc. He is strong and can pick up heavy things, but the weight of this cross is just too much. He is human. Let him go. Have mercy on him. Have mercy on my son. You are the source of strength, Jesus. Teach me to be strong in times of distress. May I look at you as my anchor and guide. May I find the Simon in you who is always by my side carrying my cross, however heavy it might be. Help me in turn to become a Simon to people around me. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Sixth Station Veronica Wipes the Face of Jesus We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Get up, King! Veronica is kind and courageous enough. Like all of us, she is feeling the pain of Jesus and has dared to break through the crowd and reach up to Jesus, even at the risk of being arrested and jailed. She is a woman of God who is standing by my son today. We pray for confidence and strength to witness Christ in challenging moments. O Father, like on the cloth of Veronica, may the face of Jesus be imprinted in our hearts as a reminder of our identity in Christ. And we ask you to remind us that He is the reason of our living. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Seventh Station Jesus falls for a second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. <laughs> Get up, King! 
King, get up! Jesus is exhausted. His lips are torn and his shoulders won't take the weight of the cross anymore. The sins of the world make it heavier. He was supposed to be a king. He is the Son of God, the Almighty. He did not deserve this. Be it done unto him according to your will, O Father. Jesus, we offer our failures to you. We know that we are already victorious in you. Be with us in moments of discouragement and betrayal. Even after a second fall, as you continued your painful journey to Calvary, may we keep moving towards our goal. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Eighth Station Jesus consoles the women of Jerusalem. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Keep moving! Uh, Walk fast! Uh, 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 Woman, <laughs> weep not for me, but for yourselves and your children. <laughs> Mothers, sisters, and daughters of Jerusalem mourn as the Son of God is being persecuted. Their cries increase every time a soldier flogs Jesus with whips. Some of them are afraid of how he is looking. Even now, when he is about to be crucified, he consoles these women. They realize that my son chose to face the agony. Such a tender moment. Dear Saint Joseph, help us to develop an empathy that resembles yours so that we may be able to see the needy and the suffering. Help us reach out to them, console them and comfort them in their crisis so that we may become more like you and our Saviour. Dear Saint Joseph, intercede for us. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us.
Ninth Station Jesus Falls the Third Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Move! Move fast! Make way for the King of Jews! The cross becomes heavy and my son falls for the third time. When my young boy worked with wooden timbers, planks and boards, I had never imagined that he would have to suffer on the same wood that provided us our livelihood. Mary is witnessing this right in front of her. The boy she gave birth to is being weighed down by the cross. I am unable to think of what she is going through. Dear Jesus, as you pick up the cross and continue walking again, I am reminded of all the times I have sinned against you and against others. I have fallen short of your best for my life, more times than I could count. Forgive me, Lord and help me build greater trust in your plans for me. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. So you call yourself King? King of Jews, this clothes doesn't suit you, King. Let's trip you. I have held Jesus in swaddling clothes when he was just a baby. I have loved him, caressed him, clothed him when he was young. Today, the soldiers have stripped him off publicly. They have torn every piece of clothing from his body. It breaks my heart to see my son face humiliation for no fault of his. Lord Jesus, I am sorry for the times I have tarnished other people's dignity, knowingly or unknowingly. I am sorry for the times I have judged or been critical of my family, friends, and neighbors. I understand that my words and actions hurt them and break their confidence. 
help me grow in your love so that i may love and respect my neighbor have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us Eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus, the King, let's crucify you now. <laughs> Prepare him for nailing. Put his crown. Bring my hammer. The sound of pounding nails is familiar to me but not this one here the soldiers stretch out my son on the cross that he carried so far they have pierced big nails into his hands and feet they ridicule him and ask him to free himself now that he has been nailed what a tyranny dear saint joseph we know that your son jesus gave his life for us for our salvation help us to be mindful of this truth and never again take him for granted help us to see the hurt and pain we have caused unto him dear jesus your willingness to die on the cross provides me confidence that if i ask to be forgiven you will give me this gift keep me safe from future temptations and help me resolve to choose what is right have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us
Twelfth Station Jesus Dies on the Cross We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Father, forgive them. They know not what they do. It is finished. Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. It is finished. My son's torture to death is finished. His suffering has come to an end. The world is darkened. The earth trembles. And there you see my son hanging on the cross, lifeless. But even after his death, one of the soldiers has pierced a spear through his body. Had my son not been tortured enough? Had he not been abused enough? How brutal should one be? Lord Jesus, we remember your face in this hour of darkness. In your death on the cross, help us know that you did it because you loved us infinitely. We ask you to remind us that it is never too late to be merciful and forgiving and to always be loving and compassionate unto others just as you have been with us. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Have mercy on us. Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Please take the body down.
what a contradiction we held jesus in our arms when he was an innocent little baby and now mary holds his dead body we have loved him so dearly how i wish i could be there for mary at this moment in my absence she only had jesus by her side to support and be with her if only i could stroke his hair one more time if only i could kiss him and hold him just one more time dear saint joseph we look to you for strength in grief we ask you to intercede for us to have the fidelity to withstand moments of confusion and love to embrace jesus just like mother mary help us to look beyond our fears and prejudices and to offer our abilities and our time for the glory of god have mercy on us o lord have mercy on us Fourteenth station. Jesus is laid in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. the earth has come to rest all hopes have shattered just when people were looking for a place to lay the dead body of my son a noble man named joseph from arimathea offers his own tomb that is new nicodemus a pharisee has volunteered to embalm the body of jesus The tomb is sealed with the stone he lives no more Lord Jesus help me to remember that unless a grain of wheat dies it cannot bear fruit Similarly unless our old self is dead 
we cannot be born anew. Like your death had a purpose, may we also be reminded of our renewal in you. Have mercy on us, O Lord, have mercy on us. Dear Jesus, we have now contemplated you on your way to the cross. Help us embrace and trust our Father's will just as you did. In your painful passion, Lord, you have shown grace, mercy and compassion. We do realize that you truly are a model of undying love. Help us become more like you today and every day. Amen. For the intentions of our Holy Father, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The Lord be with you. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.